What's going on everybody? Today we're going to talk about the Green Rush and if you missed out on it. Well the thing is that in reality you haven't missed out on it. But you have missed out on the beginnings, the early stages. And what I mean by that is that you've missed out on the first uh, realizations from many big investors that it's this is going to be the next big opportunity for anybody that really just wants to make a little bit extra income to supp supplement their already hard-earned dollars that they make you know if you work a nine to five you know in some minimum wage job it's hard for you to actually save enough to think about retirement or to think about anything other than just day-to-day -day, paycheck to paycheck and in reality what you need to be looking at is uh, investing the little uh, bit of money you can save so that that little bit of money can then uh, do more for you in the end and I know that a lot of people are scared and you know there's a lot of uh, dangers in investing and there is um, there's definitely a lot of dangers so there's different ways you can look at investing but today I just want to simply give a quick announcement and the question is have you missed out on the green rush I say no I say not at all I say today there's still great opportunities and I'm going to show you how I've made uh, tens of thousands of dollars almost hundreds of thousands in the last couple of months uh, over the last uh, two years basically I've been researching and just developing my skills in, in purchasing stocks and understanding the way the market works and like I said I'm I'm no expert I'm not trying to claim to be an expert I'm not trying to say I know more than the next guy all I'm trying to say is that I understand how today you can make money from certain opportunities but what I want to quickly uh, give us a little uh, side note is what you need to really do is understand the companies that you're going to invest in research the companies not just the stock research everything you can about you know what they're doing what they're investing in where are they putting their money where are they trying to uh, look at op new opportunities for growth in the industry regardless of whether that's in hemp uh, cultivation regardless of whether that's in uh, simple uh, flower and and CBD extract or or different other form of cultivation um, and uh, refining any of these opportunities you need to look into there's many uh, opportunities even vaporizer companies um, like I'm going to show you here uh, namaste technologies this is what I just want to give a quick um, uh, description of why I think this is a great opportunity still and why I think people need to be looking more at, uh, at this company because essentially you know in the last in the last couple of months what we've seen from from Namaste is essentially um, well you see it going down because it had the, it had the down period but in the last six months like I was saying you know we've seen um, pretty substantial growth in the last in the last five years um, you can see well, she's put it to a year even you can see and this is where I got in you know around here around uh, 60 cents right on the upswing here um, and that's essentially how you how I uh, was able to make uh, 20 well around 20,000 from this investment alone um, one, one investment you know in uh, relative like let's say seven eight months um, but what you need to be looking at is how these charts are indicative of certain announcements, certain uh, combinations of uh, different media representations, but also how the how the brand is is uh, branching out and investing in different aspects. Like like for instance, this company Namaste it owns uh, Canmart, which is going to be an online dispensary of medical and also recreational cannabis. Um, it just got its uh, license from the Health Canada so it's basically set for operations uh, starting in, in less than a month uh, 27 26 days you know um, so what we're looking at is a company that essentially started as a vaporizer company and they are very much a va uh, interested in producing vaporizers but they're also interested in e-commerce e technology and they they've essentially established uh, e-commerce platforms but also uh, just simply um, web web design and web web creation uh, internet e-commerce uh, through the industry and in creating uh, systems in which they can sell uh, technology essentially uh, like web page technology but also like e-commerce technology for, uh, through the can for the cannabis industry that they can sell to other uh, industries or other uh, 
cannabis producers or um, distributors that are looking to essentially provide the themselves with a with a adequate online uh, web page and, and e-commerce platform for their for their various web uh, industries and dispensaries that they're uh, establishing now to try and uh, get a hold of the initial rush there's going to be on uh, October 17th when we see legalization. So what I want to point out here is um, is also uh, when you're starting to look at overall, you know, you're starting to see the growth uh, of pretty much all all the companies um, in your because we we had a a down period for a while there, and it caused a lot of speculation, a lot of uh, unease about what was going to happen within the industry. A lot of people were uh, unhappy about the results of a lot of the companies, like for instance, Aurora here. Um, now I was I understood what was happening. You, you know, you have to look at the trends, and and I mean I, I don't understand at all, but I understand that when you look at trends overall from and and you look at the way the company is investing, or for instance, Aurora here, they have three facilities that once like one of them is operational now Aurora Sky in uh, Edmonton uh, the Edmonton International Airport it's essentially a locked-in facility uh, guarded with security uh, built in to the airport they have uh, very uh, cheap resources they're essentially getting all of their uh, energy sources uh, uh, very cheaply because the government is providing subsidies and allowing for a very very cheap energy rate because of the province of Al uh, Alberta and the way that it uh, essentially has the the cheapest energy rates of any province in Canada but the other uh, aspect that we need to look at is is uh, once it, uh, Aurora Aurora Sun and uh, Aurora uh, Denmark essentially uh, forget what that facility is called, but um, there's a facility that they're building in Denmark too. Once those three are operational, they're looking at 500 or or upgrading from 500 to uh, like something one and a half um, million, you know, or so or maybe even five uh, upwards of like uh, upwards of five million, you know, kilograms uh, a a year essentially. You're looking at it. when when it's fully operational and when they you know I'm obviously this is this is down the road but you need to we need to look at these things you know and I I don't know the exact you know maybe it's you know, you know um one and a half million I think is the maybe the, I don't know I forget the actual I was looking at it the other day man you know but but for in, for right now what the point is is that the company itself is establishing themselves when you see dips in the in the stock the re, the reason right now is because they're in, they're divesting and what I mean by that is not that they're um, well, people. Some people are divesting once they get, you know, obviously make their money. But the point is, is that the stock itself, right now at, at twelve dollars, even at twelve dollars, is still valuable stock at twelve dollars. You can get in and get out at twenty or twenty-four when it, when it jumps, which it will. It's all about time, which is the big thing that you know that I want to talk about real quick. Is is you need to understand um, when you're investing in stocks what the prime resort or reason you are investing in the stock why what do you want do you want long-term um, success or do you want short-term gains that's what you need to think about because if you want short-term gains then what you need to invest in are cheaper companies companies like um, namaste right companies like um, if you go to this if, if we go to um, my watch list here and portfolio which I, I recommend highly recommend for anybody that wants to invest is to create your own pro portfolio on a, on a website like investing.com the one I have here or any other website that you choose um, this one's free this one's easy to use I like it it's my um, the one I usually use there's an app that I that I have as well it, it works really well on my phone I, I, I don't know I just it's not the it's not the best it's not fully accurate to the to the second you know what I mean but you don't really need that for me because I'm a long term I'm not short I'm not, not about short term gains at times I am um, right now, I'm, I'm currently thinking about uh, looking at short-term investments into companies like um, Caliterra uh, Therapeutics, which um, let's see, let's see here, these guys here, Caliterra, Cali you know, ten ten cents or. Um, uh, Belgravia, which is at three cents. Um, the reason I say um, short-term gain for these is because, and I mean, and I maybe not even short-term gain, but when you look at them, they're kind of up and down every day. You know, they go to three, four, five every day, and down to two. You know, maybe even down three, two. But but it it's just it's always up and down. So when you can get in at like three cents, you just wait till it goes up to five, and then you're out, right? And it happened within a month, within you know, 
you'll just just keep watching it, right? And that's the thing. When you look at Kali Terra here, you you see that overall um, the growth right now is hugely down. But when but check at the max. Look at look at for for five year max. You know we're down to down to ten cents. All it takes is for a spike, and these guys are you know producing uh, technology like uh, for like new new technologies. It's unproven, but but a lot of people are skeptical about it. But but it's it works, and a lot of people it's been proven. It just a lot of people are skeptical, but that's why there's not a lot of investment in the, the a lot of this medicine, a lot of these you know um, uh, CBD and, and uh, infused technologies that you know are basically using different uh, scientific methods and medical methods to try and uh, heal ailments, which is you know it's a, it's an amazing thing, an amazing era we're in of med medical research that can that can now be done, um, but. The point is, is that a lot of these companies are 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 clinical, but if you're looking at short-term gains, what you need to do is like get in early or get in when they're low, like ten cents, and then when it goes up to fourteen, like it did the other day, you get out and you made fifty percent of what you ever you put in, right? Your double, you put in thousand, you made five hundred bucks in a month. You can do stuff like that, really, really easy. You know, just you just need to pay attention if you want to do short-term. But if you're looking at long-term gains, like like I am, then you don't you don't really want to um, worry about the the really cheap stuff you want to just find the most uh, valuable uh, companies that you can find so when I mean valuable companies I mean how much are they going to be producing how much how valuable is that stock what kind of companies are they uh, subsidizing what, what are the companies are they buying um, and investing in like for instance Aurora is invested in Choom Choom Holdings which is a company that I think is very uh, valuable as well Choom is basically uh, like an organic, uh, hand uh, crafted uh, cannabis strain, so it's very uh, uh, exclusive. It's very uh, high class, high like high grade, very very high class kind of thing. It's more it's more of a specialized you know version, uh, kind of like my, a microbrewery would be in um, in the beer industry, right? So uh, the 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 point is is that they they own so many companies. They just bought International Cannabis um, Corp, which which is in Latin America, very very big. They're going to be producing essentially in uh, multi-continent, uh, across multiple continents. They're going to be distributing um, millions, essentially millions of grams, kilograms uh, of cannabis each year. Um, so for $12, you can still get yourself a lot of value out of the stock. Now, do I think it's going to go down from here? Yes. I think uh, in a few weeks, you're going to probably see this go down by like 10 again, maybe 9. You, but that's going to be about it, I think. In my end, you're going to get in. You're going to need to get in at, at that rate, and uh, essentially hope for you can double your money uh, in the next six months. And if you're in short term, you can still, like I said, about double your money. But the point is that if you want, you know, short term, you need to look at the cheaper stocks, because because you can't really do short term gains out of these guys, because or unless you have like in your investing like fifty to sixty thousand dollars or something like that, or like you know twenty thousand. Um, if you have that kind of money to invest, then you can look at these kind of stocks for short term. I would actually recommend them. You know, if you have like 50 grand, throw it into Aurora. Because honestly, in a month, even in two months, you're going to at least be able to get out 20 to 30 Gs. Guarant almost guaranteed. And if it doesn't happen, like I said, in the next six, you just keep waiting. And once their production facilities come online, once they officially start producing from three different facilities globally to, you know, Three different continents, probably four different continents. Once they get, because they they're also distributing to Australia, so you're going to see a massive growth in this company. Um, and like I said, with Namaste, you have a company that's in vaporizing. They're they're producing e-commerce technology that's very valuable right now because the only available resource for a lot of companies is is to distribute online. So what you're going to see is this company being very valuable in the next six months because people are going to need to get their online. Uh, uh, presence more uh, evident essentially more more uh, marketable so in the end I just wanted to put out this quick video to say that the green rush is not over you have very very uh, many opportunities if you want to check it out I'm going to be putting out a new show starting in the next few days uh, I'm going to talk about stocks but I'm going to talk about other things that's not my only channel but that's this is uh, mainly for stocks that I want to put this out for and there's going to be an update and I'm going to do a stock of the week so every week I'm gonna give a highlight for what I stock you think should be investing in. so thank you for listening and thank you for tuning in hopefully you guys have a great day and uh, we'll see you soon